Hello and welcome back to Cricket Carts YouTube. I'm Noah, and today we're going to be showing you how to test and replace the 5 volt regulator in your Cricut cart. If you turn your cart on and do not hear a click, the lights and other electronics work but there's no power to the motor, there's very likely an issue with the 5 volt regulator. To test and replace the 5 volt regulator in your Cricut, you will need a voltmeter, a large piece of shrink tubing, three small pieces of shrink tubing, three wire butt connectors, a crimper and a wire stripper, and finally, a heat gun or a lighter. We're going to use an ESV model for our demonstration. Locate the two wing nuts on the back of the ESV steering column. Unscrew these nuts to loosen the shroud. Then, after unplugging the light, the shroud comes right off. Now the 5 volt regulator is the same in all of our models, just in different places. To find the 5 volt regulator, just look for the red shrink tubing. Strip the insulation off above the 5 volt regulator. You should see three wires underneath. Red, blue, and black. Blue is voltage in, red is voltage out, and the black is the ground. Make sure to turn your key to the off position before you begin. Strip a small piece of insulation off of each colored wire, ensuring that the exposed portions don't touch. Now for testing, turn the key back to the on position. Make sure the wires are not in contact before you turn the cart back on. Place the black contact on the black wire and the red contact on the blue wire. For this model, it'll read 24 volts, but for the SX3 and RX5, it should read 36. While keeping the black contact in place, move the red contact to the red wire and it should read 5 volts. If it doesn't read 5 volts, the regulator needs to be replaced. To remove the faulty 5 volt regulator, make sure that your Cricut cart is off, then cut below the exposed wires. After stripping the exposed wires, place a butt connector on the exposed end of each one, then crimp using the crimper. With the new 5 volt regulator wires stripped, insert the ends into the corresponding butts opposite their same color. Ensure that shrink tubing has been slid over each wire before crimping. After crimping both ends of each wire, slide the shrink tubing over the butt connectors. Then, use your heat gun or lighter to shrink it in place. Slide the large shrink tube over all three, then once again use your lighter or heat gun to shrink it into place. Connect the light, realign the shroud and bolts, and slide it back into place. Finally, line up the washers and wing nuts with either side and tighten down. The 5 volt regulator in the RX-5 is located behind the dashboard. You'll find two screws on the sides and three underneath the front floor mat. Once these are removed, the dash slides right out and your regulator will be right here. For the SX-3, remove the front shroud and it should be easy to locate the 5 volt regulator. To learn more or to find a Cricut Cart dealer near you, check us out at CricutCarts.com. Like and subscribe and thanks for stopping by.